Hello and welcome to another inspiring interview on Leading Ladies TV. I am so excited about this interview because for the first time, as we've been running for nine months, we have got a return guest. Welcome to the show, Kelly Graham. Thanks, Amanda. Happy to be here. Oh, I'm so excited because just to let me share with the viewers, when you came and visited us on Leading Ladies TV last time, you were telling us a story about overcoming some of the challenges you'd had when you were competing at such a high level with CrossFit and how you'd kind of worked around that and really had to pull on um, all of your resources to remain positive and focused. And in that interview, you mentioned that you were wanting to write a book. And the, re <laughs> the reason we're back today is, I can't believe it, but in such a quick time, you're actually going to be launching that book on the 1st of September. Is that right? That's right. September 1st on Amazon.com. Oh, so Kelly, I, am, I know a little bit about this book, but tell, tell the viewers about it. The book is called Hope Rx, and I actually have a, a printout of the cover if I could show you. Oh, that's amazing. So, my daughter took the, um, took the photographs, which is really special too. We just went down to the gym one day um, and she took the photographs of me. Um, I came up with the title because I knew that the book had to somehow let the public know that it was about hope and that it was about inspiring people um, who want to inspire others, who want to use the challenges that they went through um, to let people know that you can use challenges for areas of growth um, the positive things can come out of hardships that makes you stronger, brings people together. Um, so I have 50 authors who have um, actually honored me um, and the rest of the world with the story of, of the challenges that they met and how they overcame them. And CrossFit or functional fitness is the common tie throughout these stories, but it's it doesn't mean that you have to be an athlete to gain from this because it's just really about the power of the human spirit and the power of community and they're beautiful stories and I'm just so um, so lucky to have met these these authors and that they trusted me with their very personal accounts. It sounds it sounds a phenomenal read. I'm loving the thought of it already. But Kelly, you know, you had the idea of a book, okay? Right. And there was, there was this vision. And then you, you've got 50 people contributing to that book. Mm -hmm. This can't be an easy. Um, it, was, it was slow at the beginning. It did take a little while to build because all I did was I wrote a, a little bit of a blog or a post on my Facebook page. And I said, I have a page that was sort of related just to my athletics, um, Kelly Graham athlete. And... I wasn't posting on that page for a while because I had had this injury just before the CrossFit Games and I couldn't attend. And it was a, a summer that I was like I was struggling. There are certainly people worse off than me, and I know that, and I always remember that. But it was still really hard for me um, to have that sudden change in direction and focus and what I loved. I couldn't quite do at that point. So um, I just wrote a blog and I said, "This is why I haven't been." on my Facebook page very often, but this is what I want to do. I've decided my new goal now is not to compete in the CrossFit Games and win. My new goal in the foreseeable future is going to be to write a book that will help others. Um, and so I said, if you have a story or you know someone who has a story um, where CrossFit or the CrossFit community or the functional fitness has played a role in helping them overcome challenges, contact me. So I got some contacts there and I was actually lucky enough that a few people who had more of a presence on the internet through websites, um, you included Amanda, took, took it upon yourself to say, hey, I'd like to help you with this process. And so you, along with a few others, um, helped me get the word out. And then it started to grow from there. And then um, I decided in I met with my friend Forrest, who has uh, sort of been quite a mentor for me. He has authored some books. Um, and I said to him, I don't know if I can do this. Like it was part way through six months in and the stories just aren't coming in. Why would people trust me anyways? They don't even really know who I am. And so, um, he said, you've got to think about like, just how can you get this word out there differently then? Like, what can you do? And I went back to Jack Canfield's book, the success principles, which really helped me with this, um, goal in the first place. And I just remembered some accounts where, 
people just changed direction and got the got their goal finished in a different way. And so I thought, how can I do this? So I started emailing my husband and I directly about a thousand CrossFit gyms around the world. And I had a little paragraph or two introducing myself. This is what I want to do. Please pass on my information if you know someone or yourself that has a story to share. And that was really what started the ball rolling. So I just had to be more personal maybe in my approach and email directly to each gym. And then I had the, the accounts come in a lot quicker after that. And the beautiful part is that the authors have felt that this has been so therapeutic for them as well. So not only are they sharing and helping others, but myself included, this whole process has been a growth and a healing process that I didn't realize I would get out of it as much as the rest of the world will get out of it. You know, like it's helped me with every story that came in. I was just a little bit stronger, a little bit more positive, realized the gratitude that I need to have in my life for everything that I have and um, that there's always hope and that there's always growth and there's always something else waiting for you around that corner. That's amazing. Um, they must, the, 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 the authors, the sort of the co-authors, if you like, they must be over the moon that this story, their stories are going to be shared to help other people. Yeah, they are very excited and uh, we stay in close contact, like we're emailing quite a bit, all, all of them, um, and they're very uh, open to helping in any way they can to get the word out about the book. Um, I've let them proof the book just online before it's being published and um, many, many of them email back just in thanks and in tears just saying, you know, I've read my story, it's beautiful, thank you for, you know, tweaking it or anything, else. just the way it's, it's formatted. Um, they're just so, so blessed to be a part of the process and how much it's helped them. And that makes me feel very, very good because I just want people just to be um, hopeful. You know, without hope, there isn't anything. Um, and, and just to highlight these wonderful, strong people is, it means the world to me that they are proud of this piece of work also. When can I get my hands on it, Kelly? When's it going to be available? September 1st on Amazon.com in Kindle and paperback. Um, I'm waiting right now, like as we speak, the proof copy, the proof paperback is being sent to me. And as long as I'm okay with everything in there, then I push publish on Wednesday at the latest and it'll be available September 1st. Wow. Imagine, mm -hmm. imagine that when you've got that book in your hands. I know, it's, I'm very excited. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, I'm really excited. Let's have another look at that book cover. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the title of the book is actually the same um, as my website, so hoperx.com. And there's more information on there. I can't... Is it in the middle? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> it's it's so, such a good image. Um, Kelly, I just want to say congratulations Thank you. And, you know, we interview people that make life happen and the last time you were on, you'd done phenomenal things. What you've done in the last nine months is incredible. It's not just going to change the lives of those people mm -hmm. that have been good enough to share those stories with you, but imagine the lives it'll change by people who actually go on, online on September the 1st and get your book. Um, me, one of them. I can't wait to be uplifted by it. So Thank uh, you. Yeah, I'm very proud of it. Very excited, very proud. Um, as I said, very honored that I can be sort of the venue for these people to share with the world. Um, but yeah, very excited. And who knows, it might be the first in a series. Like there are so many stories out there um, and so many people willing to share and help others that uh, really reaffirms the goodness of humanity. Um, you know, just talking to these people and what they've been through and how positive they are. Um, and how willing to share and hoping that their story will help someone else. Yeah. Well, I hope it I hope it does turn into a many, many levels of book. I can imagine this just opening the doors. And and well done and well as well on on sticking with it when at first yeah. it didn't seem like it was gonna happen. That right. that's that's a lady with a vision. So Thanks so much for coming on. I'm, I'm delighted. I, I hope to see many more of uh, the ladies that have interviewed that had ideas that will come back on. But you're the first that's gone out and made a dream into a reality. So um, well done. Thanks, Amanda. I appreciate the opportunity. Okay. And um, 
who knows what we'll be speaking to you about next, Kelly. But yes. for now, uh, goodbye and thank you. Thanks, Amanda.